Well, the springs are pretty much done. I'm just waiting for the bushes to turn up for these. I made a tool up, so they're actually quite easy to put in. So the plan is what I'd normally do. I don't know if you can see it from there. See where the leaf spring is there. Little gap. I want to get some little fox wedges in. Bang one in either side. Just to open up, just to cut a fair. Clean it all up in there. Then the new bushes will just slide in. I might have to push them in a little bit. A little pusher, but they will go in. The moment what I'm doing is just disassembling. I've got the uh, let's have a look. A new dowel pin to go in here. It goes in that way. That way. Um, what else we've got to do? Oh, the spaces. I just assembling. I don't know if you can see it. It's upside down. These spaces in here, they've all been renewed, which are the, well, these. We actually brought a piece of tube, I'll just cut them down to the side and machined them on my little little lathe. Just give them a quick cut of paint, which the paint already had. Obviously they go in, sort of, in there like that. So that's another sort of thing I need to get done. I've pretty finished the springs off the day actually. Just reassemble them, I've got another leaf to go on there. So I can put a dowel in, take the clamps off and keep them marked up because these springs, I don't even know or not, they are handed. Although the rear springs is a near side and offside, apparently the offside spring is slightly stronger to compensate for the driver's weight. So I didn't know that. So that's about it. So hopefully in the play today the chassis will be all welded up and ready to be cleaned and the springs will be ready. That's about it I think. Apart from this little pile of bits here, I've just been keeping all the, all the bits I've been taking off. I'll just be keeping them. Uh, just a, that's, a, that's a rear bush. That's one of the dowel pins that come out of the spring. There's another one in the bush that put up a little bit of resistance. But a bit of saw and hammers and things like that and she's will normally uh, get them out. What else have we got here? Well, unfortunately these are the uh, rear shackle uh, bolts. I couldn't get them out. You can see this one here, I have to saw it off because it's actually uh, rusted into the shackle. So I've had to result in uh, drilling and tapping the holes out again and they've come up alright. So, so it's kind of a quick look at the drive shaft.